Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 192 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today we are going to make nylon butterflies and flowers. If I can get it right, this is the second time I've tried because the first one failed so badly, I just had to start over. Normally I leave the mistakes in there, but we were at a half an hour doing nothing but mistakes. So we're going to try again. I'm having a hard time with this wire. This wire is so thick that it's not really doing what I want it to do. And um, and my thread kept breaking. And so these are, this is what I showed you how to do in the video that I just got rid of because it was just, it was just too hard to deal with. So I am going to, um, we'll try the butterfly again with that heavy wire. And then here is a flower that I sampled afterwards. And isn't that cute? And then with the see-through of the nylon, you know, you can just put a little bit of glitter on there. You know, you can do it up however you want to. If you get like a white nylon, um, you know, you can spray it with your colors. You could even spray this with your colors if you wanted to. But I, I liked that I had got these a while back when we did our Rolodex. And I thought that that looked really nice together. So um, this is what we are going to attempt to do. I used to do this all the time. I used to play with nylons like this all the time. And um, today I just couldn't get it. So we're going to hope we get it again. So I've got a little buddy, our little buddy here from last week. I thought he turned out cute. He got his hair combed. So I thought I'd show you what he looked like. And um, if you didn't see this video last week, it was pom-pom balls, um, paper clips. But then we just kind of went a little further and made some fun ones too. So we'll just set him aside. And also, when I opened the nylons, this is a really nice piece of card in here. So, you know, save that. And even even this, you know, you've got a really nice white side. So that would make great tags and that type of thing, ATCs, whatever you want. So here we go. We're going to try it again. So for the butterfly, I just used a pill bottle. You just need something round. So we're going to take some of this wire, kind of straighten it out a bit so that you don't have kinks in it from the start and we are going to need we'll have a little extra piece there and we're going to need two full circles so there's one and there's two and then we're going to want an extra piece on that too so we'll just cut that a little bit long okay just kind of give that a good press give it a good rounding there and then what we have is two circles with two little tails and we are going to just take those two circles and open them up like this okay then i guess we could have done this before we opened it up we're going to take these two little tails and this wire is very soft and yet it's just, I'm just having a hard time getting it to move where I want it. Okay, so we've opened it up. We've got two tails. I'm going to take one tail and wrap it around the opposite circle. This tail is coming from this side, so I'm going to wrap it around that circle. And then this tail is coming from this side, and so I'm going to wrap it around this circle. And let's see, I have some pliers here. Maybe my pliers will help me more. Which one was I just wrapping? I don't know. We wrapped that one around and we wrapped that one around. And now I'm just gonna kind of give them a little wrap around each other. if I can and I kind of want to twist them like you would twist a bread tie I don't really want to wrap one completely around the other I want that bit of a of a twist so twist both of them and then got a little extra there so I'm just going to cut that off Always, whenever you cut wire, hold on to it nice and tight. And then I'm going to try and just fold this down. And give it a little bit of a squish. 
there. Okay, now what that's going to do by wrapping one tail around the opposite circle like that is that's going to hold the middle of your butterfly together because otherwise it just wants to keep coming apart. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, I want that in the middle, we're just going to choose a point on the wings of the butterfly and we are going to push them in. And what I'm going to do is because this is towards the top and this is what I would think of as the as the top of my butterfly, the head up here, I'm going to flip this over because when you, I'm going to choose a point towards the top and I want to choose a point that's about the same. Um, and I'm going to just push this in a little bit, but that's going to give us more of the bottom wing because it's going to be a little smaller. So then I want to choose about the same point on this one and just push that in. So you're pushing it kind of towards the head, I guess you would say, of the butterfly, right towards here, kind of. You just kind of push that in till they look about the same. And then when we flip it over, we've got our butterfly there and kind of give it a give it a shape however, however you think it needs to be fixed up a little bit. And there we go, just like that. And what you can also do is you can print out a picture of a butterfly. I used to do this sometimes. And um, and then just lay your wire over top of that when you're trying to bend your wings and, you know, if, you, if you're having a hard time getting a good shape. Now what I want to do is, because I don't like this sticking out over on the edge here, I'm going to kind of move that around to the back. There we go, just so it's not sticking out on one side or the other. And so now we have our butterfly shape. And nylons come in different colors also. So if you get a colored nylon, those are really fun to play with. And um, I got a bunch at a garage sale once, and that's what I used to play with. So now I'm just going to have already cut off part of the bottom of the, the toe of the nylon. But now I'm going to just cut off a piece that's... Um, you know, like a little wider than the butterfly. It doesn't have to be a lot wider because we want to pull and stretch it so it gets nice and thin. And then we're just going to put our butterfly in here. And I'm going to put the butterfly in this way because that's going to already stretch it a little bit if I do that. So I'm going to kind of put it in sideways like that. And then I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to grab up both pieces of the nylon, pull it all towards the center like this. Just get it all pulled in there nice and tight so you've got all of it. And then just kind of, don't lose it, then just kind of give it a twist. just to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Kind of pull it and twist it. If you have wrinkles that you don't like the way that they look, then just kind of try and pull them out of there. And that's because I'm twisting it this way that that little bit of a wrinkle is getting there. But we'll take care of that in a second. Okay, so once you get it kind of tight, which is our whole objective here. Um, then we're just going to use a needle and thread and just go right through it, right through your twist, and do that a couple of times. Like that. And then we're going to wrap around the twist. Sorry about that. Just wrap around it a couple of times. And then go through it again. And you want to do this nice and tight. Okay, now I've been going through side to side, so what I'm going to do is I want to go to the bottom and come up because I really want to make sure that I 
I can let go of that now because it's pretty well sewed. But I want to go from the bottom up just to make sure that I'm catching it. All of it. Ouch. And then again, come around and go from the bottom to the top. This is my problem I was having last time too. I can't sew for anything today. Can't keep a hold of that needle. There we go. And then I'm gonna wrap it around a couple more times. Go through anywhere. Just to pull that, just to hold that wrap in its place. And then we'll just put a knot in it. So just pick up a little bit of fabric. Well, nobody's going to want this one. Sorry about that. And just put it on. And then we've got so much extra here that I'm going to cut some of that off. I'm not going to cut it too, too short. I don't want it to unravel. And so there is what we've got so far. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this bunch here, put my needle through it, and then put my needle through kind of down here towards the body. And I'm going to kind of pull that down a little bit because I want that in the back. And so just grab it up again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how our, see how the nylon is sticking down between where we want our wings to be. So I'm going to come down here and just grab that up a little bit. Just go through from the front to the back and then pull that up like this. And then just hold that there with a little stitch. Okay, now we're sticking out a little over here. So what we can do in here too, what we can do with those is we can grab a hold of them and pull them over. Nice and tight. You don't want your thread across there because you'll see it. So nice and tight all the way to the center. Stitch through the hard part to hold it. And then come over here where we've still got a little bit sticking out on this side. And grab that up. And pull that over nice and tight. Just put a knot in that. You just knot things by going through a piece of your fabric. Then you've got a loop there, so you stick your needle through the loop and pull it tight, and that will knot it. And so there we go. I'm going to cut that off of there. I'm going to cut just a little of that that's sticking up. And so now, we so far we have the outline of our butterfly. And the other thing is these the, the bits that you do in the back, they give you this dimension. So those things are in the back, which, you know, you don't necessarily want to use the back. But, um, you know, it, it is pretty the way that it pulls like that, except that you got your big bunch there. But those pulls do show through onto the front. And then they give you dimension where you can kind of see those back behind there. And sometimes I'll take my glitter and I'll kind of like highlight those on the front because I like the way that they look showing through, so I know my highlight will look good. So there's that, and I will set that one aside. He'll need to be decorated up, and uh, maybe use a little bit of our our regular wire here to um, put a little antenna on there. So you can just take a little piece of wire and 
and fold it up and curl over the top just a little bit. And the round nose pliers that we have in our set would work better for that. I'm going to try and make a, a little bit of a, I want a point right here. I want it to be closer together right here, I guess I should say. Now open them back up again because I hold on to, hold on to that. Pull that one out that way. And that one out that way. And then we can put that right on the back just like that. Now with these being rounded over just a little bit like that, you can take a piece of bling and glue it on there because it has more area to grab a hold of. Or you can make even a full circle and put a little bit of bling, or you can leave it just like that. And you can glue that on or you can sew it on. It's better if you sew it on. So we'll just put that there for now. Now we'll do the flower. So for the flower, you're just going to take some wire. I don't take it off. I don't take it off the reel because you don't know exactly how much you're going to need. So I just leave it on the reel. And again, you want just a little bit of a tail. So that's our tail. This is our starting point of our first circle. We're going to do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is our seventh loop, so it needs to come all the way around to where our extra is over here. Oops. So now here's our extra there. And so this one's going to come that far over. And that will be our extra of this one. And we'll need to leave a little bit of that. And then pull those together like this. Give them a twist and then slide it off. This is tapered, so I have to slide it off this end. Hold your circles together. And we just gave it one twist, so we still have these tails here. So take one of those tails and go around through the circles and back up the other side. That will hold your center together, otherwise it kind of wants to separate. And then twist them like a twisty tie, just round and around. And that will give you something to hold on to and something to attach a stem for your flower if you want to attach a stem to it. So there we go. So now it looks like this. It went through the circles and it's holding them together. Now you're just going to take one of the circles and lay it out flat. Then you're going to take the next circle and you're going to lay it out flat, but you're going to move it over a little bit as you do that. So you're going to grab it and just move it over so that it looks like this. Okay, then we're going to take the next one and try and make sure you don't get them out of order because you can get them out of order and then they don't want to then they don't want to work. So make sure that the the wire is the next one on top. Now you're going to grab a hold of that and you're going to flip it down and over at the same time. And as you're doing that, you're kind of pulling these this way a little bit. Now the next one, and now when I did that one right there, my seventh circle did not fit, and I just fit it underneath. So I'm going to do again the same thing, just kind of fold it over and down like that. Now I have one, two, three, four. So I still have three here. Which one's on top? This one. Okay. So that one's on top. And they're starting to get smaller and a little bit misshapen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the bottom one. And I'm just going to like move it over. Oh. 
about. It's not wanting to listen to me. Let's kind of move it over. And this is on top of that, so that one's on top of that, so that would be the right way. And then we're going to take these last two and just separate them a little bit. So now this one is very kind of misshapen, so I'm just going to take that from the bottom, see how it's coming way out here? And I'm just going to kind of pull that wire right back towards the center. Like that. And hold that there and round this out just a little bit. Because it's got a point on it and I don't like that. There we go. So, and you just kind of play with them till you get them in order like this. There is no exact right or wrong way. How I did like four and then the next one I flipped the other way and then I just moved the other two over. You just kind of move them around until they look like a flower. And so then we're going to do the same as we did with the butterfly. Just take a piece of our nylon. is a little bit small but that's okay because nylon stretch so I'm just gonna put it in like this and you don't even have to keep the whole hoop really because there's really no point in that let's even I'm gonna just cut that so that it's easier to grab a hold of so I'm gonna pull this one over here pull this one over here I want them to meet in the middle So that we're right above that stem that we left we're going to hold on to that like that then we're going to stretch this one and actually that's just way too much so we're going to cut some of that off because we really want it to stretch because we want it to thin out we're going to cut some of this off too what we're going to do is i'm going to open this up and just show you what i'm doing all right so here's our nylon i'm basically just going to cut a square Maybe it's a little bit of a rectangle and it's already a little stretched. There we go. All right, so now I'm just going to start. Flip it over, it's easier. I'm just going to bring it to the center all the way around. I just wanted to pull off of here, but I'm just going to pull it back over here. Once you get it all pulled up, then just give it a twist like that. Hold on to it. And then take your needle and thread. And just go through. And I'm just going to use my needle. I didn't go, well, I could go through. That wouldn't hurt anything. We'll go through the bottom part. around I'm just gonna wrap it around just a couple of times maybe just like even one time and then go through again and pull it tight I'm gonna go kind of down this side and go right through the fabric then I'm gonna come up the other side we want it to make we just want to make sure that it doesn't um, unwind itself. Then wrap it around another time. Go through here, anywhere. And then we're just going to pick up a piece of fabric and knot it off. Just pick up a piece of fabric. And then you've got your loop. Now my needle is not long enough my, my my loop's going to disappear if I pull this needle back far enough to fit through that hole so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the back of the needle and go through that hole whoops not through the nylon though go through that loop and then it's long enough to pull it nice and tight to get that knot in there so we'll do that one more time we're going to go through and since I can't turn my needle around and go through I'm just going to go through backwards 
and there we go. And just give that a nip. And so now we've got our little handle down here. We can cut off a little bit of this excess or we can leave it there, um, not knowing yet what we're going to attach to it. And then you just decorate it however you think that you would like to decorate it. So I am going to go get a little bit of stuff to do a little decorating and I'll be back. Okay, I grabbed just a couple of things here and um, thought we would see what we could do. So like with the butterfly, we, we definitely want him to have some antennae. And we want him to have, let's say, a little body. Maybe, do we want the body on a butterfly does not really hang out much, does it? So I think that actually one length of that would be okay. So I'm just going to cut off the extra little strings here that hold them together. There we go. And then I'm going to press my scissors right up tight against them as I go so that we're cutting the strings right next to the body so that we don't have a bunch of them hanging out trying to trim them off when we've only got a little bit left. It's easier to hold on to this while you're trying to push your scissors up against the body than to try and hold this little tiny bit and do it like that. So we've got that, we can glue that on, and we've got our little antennas. And so we can put those on there. I think what I want to try and do is sew them and glue them so that they're nice and steady or sturdy. I'm just going to kind of come up through anywhere here because I just want them to be in this middle -y spot. Then put them on there. Oh, my string, there we go. So I've got the little fold in there. I'm just going to go through that fold. And back down through the butterfly. Just pull that right down in there nice and tight. Like that. I'm going to go over the butt or over that fold one more time and back down. One of my threads was too long. Alright, so that will kind of make it so it doesn't fall off, but it's not going to keep it from being kind of floppy. So I'm going to put a little glue on there too. I'm just trying to, trying to knot this off. With the same sewing problems I've been having all day. Okay. There we go. One more time. And then cut that off. And I'll put some, I'll actually put some glue on it when we're done. So then the glue will have it just, it'll be able to just sit and dry. And then I want to take this and put that right on there and see that covers up the little bit of extra wire that we had there very nicely. I'll just take that and put it on there. A little bit too much glue, but it's going to dry clear. Okay. 
So there we go. And then I thought that, <laughs> let me try this again. Wait, I don't need that. I just need some glue. These are the little bits that we got um, from our beads the other day. And I thought they might look kind of cool hanging off the bottom, but also I thought maybe just a little bit of glitter, maybe on the wings. So let's see. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. So that we can sprinkle this. And then be able to pick it back up so we don't make a huge mess. A folded piece of paper is your best friend when you're playing with glitter. And since I don't have a, put the flower there for a second. I don't have a paintbrush right out here. So I'm just going to use the end of this skewer that was sitting here. I'm just going to paint on a little bit of glue. It would have been easier with a paintbrush. When I first started this series, everything that I we had bought for the series I would bring out and put on the table so it would be right in front of me every single time. Now that we are going on our fourth year, that it would be just impossible because we have built up a large stash over the last four years. So I have to try and remember as I'm doing this stuff what, what am I going to need and usually I have samples and so you know I, I make the sample before the video so then things I'm missing it reminds me to go get them but lately it's been so busy I've got so much to do right now that I've just been kind of winging it making things that I've not made on the series before, but things that I've made in the past and like to make in the past and thinking you guys might like them too. So there we go, maybe a little dot out here. go and we better get to it before the glue dries there so let's see how it looks with a little bit of pink oh you know what the pink glitter is also going to stick to the body but that's all right it'll give the body a little interest and we're going to see because usually I usually have done this with things like stickles, like with a glitter type glue, where you just put it on there. But the glitter glue that we made three years ago, um, I just checked that and it's all dried out. So I'm not sure if this glitter might make its way into, through the nylon. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put it right there by the body too, on purpose. Since it's probably going to get there anyways, I might as well make sure that it's covered. Oops, I just hit the glue with that. And I hit the I hit it again. Okay. Let's see how this works. Voila. 
isn't that pretty? I like it. So there we go. There's our little butterfly. And take a few of these. One's pink and one's purple. Let's do purple. Give it a little definition instead of the whole thing being pink. Just being silly for a second. No, that would not be funny. Okay, so I'm going to kind of unwrap this a little bit. I was gonna just just cut the all the strings off at once but it would be easier to have a little bit where'd my scissors go seriously okay well the scissors are gone I'll try and cut it with this If we had just a little bit of something extra just to hold them together so I wasn't trying to glue each individual one on there is my thinking. Actually, I can just squish that tube. There. There's one. And squish the tube. Oh, I think the tube's coming out of that one. There we go. That's okay. It still has the bit of plastic to hold it. And then, where's our glue? Put a little bit of glue right here. And right here, which that is a whole lot of glue. Okay, put one there, and put one there, and flip this over, I'm going to let it sit on there while it dries so that um, it doesn't stick to my paper here. Hold that down for a second and find out where the heck my other... There we go. Okay, so while I had that upside down, I should have put a dot of glue on the back of that too because I'm planning on doing that, but I will do that when this is all dry. And then I wanted to see if I had brought my parchment paper out here, I would have set that on parchment paper. All right, it came off anyways. But of course, you know, you have to have your drying time. I can't flip it the other way and leave them on the top because this is still wet. I'm going to pull those out of there. Okay. Because I also wanted to put one of these I think on the antenna. Just like
And again, tweezers would have been nice. Didn't I think about those earlier? Okay, they've got sticky on the back. It's not enough sticky to stick it there. It will definitely have to um, put a little glue on the back and then put it on the wire. As a matter of fact, really, for this part, that's what it's gonna look like. For this part, the kind of glue you wanna use because you're, you've got hard plastic and the hard metal, um, you wanna use our gel super glue. So I'm gonna just gel super glue those on there and let that dry. And then for our flower, um, I really like the one that we had, so I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing, except that I lost my scissors. Oh, here they are. They're under the glitter. So I'm just gonna cut off one of these flowers. Now, the way that these are hooked together, they're not all flowers. Like they share this little center, little diamond. So if you can see this one right here, this bottom flower is missing that little diamond. And that's okay because you can use those for something else later. So I'm gonna cut up like this and then around so that the flower that I have is a whole flower. And then this flower right here is missing a little diamond, but that's okay. I can use that for something else. I can even just use the little centerpiece. I can just use the little diamonds. I could even take those little diamonds and put them on the petals around the edges of the flower. Or you could take little beads and you could put those. You know, you could sew them on because they'll sew to the you can sew them right um, to the nylon. But there we go. That made that one super simple. And now I have a matching pair. I like that. So I will be back in just a second to show you, tell you what we need for next week. I'm gonna let this dry first. Like I said, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna glue the antennas on the back. I'm gonna glue the little diamonds to the antennas and we're gonna let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back, and here we are, all dry and finished. So, um, I think that they turned out really well. I like the way that they turned out. So, um, yeah, I hope that if you make these, you have a good time. And you can make them any way. You know, you can take your wire and point it like a leaf, and, you know, and make leaves with these, and then, you know, use your glitter or, or, something to you know turn them green um it's just it's a fun thing to do and it looks different than just you know paper and that type of thing it's just it's fun so for next week what we are going to need and i didn't buy this at the dollar store because i already had some here at the house um but so we'll spend two dollars for next week we are going to need crayons and we are going to need a pencil sharpener. So I got a suggestion from Lisa, who is LB on YouTube. And um, she reminded me of something that we did with the wax paper, right along with ironing it, um, you know, to put stuff in between it when we were young. And I thought, well, that sounds like a great idea. So we're going to play with that next week. So again, we need crayons and we need a pencil sharpener. And if you've already got them at home, you don't even have to pick anything up. So we're also going to need our wax paper, our black permanent marker, um, and we'll just go from there and see what. But nothing else that's not already in our stash. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.